Hey guys, I just took a week off to work on some book-related stuff, and I realized that, wow, I have not talked about my writing or, like, where I'm at now for a while now. So I thought I would uh, make a brief update video about that, talking about that and uh, where I expect to go from here or what my goals for the immediate future are because there is, of course, a bit of a process when it comes to like writing and publishing a novel. I'm pretty much done with the writing portion. I have been rereading my work uh, pretty co consistently over the past week. I've made some minor changes, but I, I'm pretty certain that like it's about as good as it's going to get. I think that like if I seriously try to radically alter what the work is, what it is at this point, it's just it's just going to sabotage what I have. It, it's just going to uh, cause problems. And I, I think at this point, it's about as good as it's going to be. Like, it's not the best novel ever by any stretch of the imagination. I, I don't think anything is perfect, but uh, rereading it constantly has like, <laughs> um, I'm kind of sick of it. Well, no, I'm not really sick of it. Um, I am really, really enjoying reading it and like uh, thinking about what I'm doing, thinking about like what to do creatively, how to improve it, uh, what I can do to like improve the pacing or adjust it. And there are some things I already want to do for subsequent projects. Uh, the, the biggest one I think is that I just want to write no longer novels. Um, that, that's the thing I've been noticing is that like I specifically honed myself. I specifically wanted to write really long lengthy novels with a ton of characters but unfortunately for first-time novelists it's recommended to start like with relatively smaller projects to uh, save on uh, paper publication costs so it's it's a good idea to limit your first novel to be around 90,000 words long or it can be a little bit longer and a little bit shorter I've I've gone a bit on both ends, but um, for other projects, Th this one is about um, about a hundred thousand, and I think that's perfectly reasonable. So I've been editing it, I've been looking at it. Uh, it, I'm very very happy with it overall. You know, in spite of everything, I kind of wish I could um, do slightly differently. I th I think for the most part, it's pretty much what I want from it. Like, it's a good first novel from me. Every problem I have with it is all stuff that, like, well, pff, I should be, I want to write longer novels, and I, I can't really do that right now because of how the publishing industry works. I am perfectly happy with how it is, how it's presented, its length, its pacing. Uh, I am satisfied with it. So, uh, from the creative standpoint, I'm pretty much done, and, uh, that's the part I enjoy and really, really like doing. Like even now, I'm still going back and doing it more because, um, you know, working on other projects, editing old ones, I love the creative part of the process, right? That's why I chose to do this, uh, you know, as a hobby or a career, or what have you. That That's what I like doing. But Um, now I'm in the stage where I'm at the publication portion of it. I need to get stuff published. I need to get it looked at. And uh, I've all, even though I've been done since with this novel since the end of July, right? It's been finished, and I've been uh, occasionally sending it out. I have not really found the time, or really even the desire, to go out and uh, send it out to people that have it looked at. And a big reason for that is, from my perspective, I feel that the vast majority of agents are not really interested in the kind of stuff that I want to write. Like, I am wearing a One Punch Man shirt, okay? That is the kind of stuff I like to make. I am heavily influenced by stuff like that. The first... Uh, novel I ever finished was actually uh, heavily influenced by uh, One Punch Man, One Piece, Yu Yu Hakusho, stuff like that. Uh, being anime influenced, having that kind of like uh, high focus on fight scenes and um, 
really ridiculous sort of plot lines. Um, it it feels almost like it's a bit too out there for most agents. And I have gotten feedback that like the stuff I make is just too ridiculous. It's just too out there. It's uh, <laughs> I've had people like you know actual professionals in the industry message me back and be like, what what the what the what is this? <laughs> and um, I I sort of understand why. Um, I don't really. I don't disagree with the mindset at all, but that's the thing though, is that like, I want to be a little bit out there. I want to be a little bit different. I want to be creative. I want to do something that isn't stock and cliche. And as a result, it just sort of feels like uh, people, th this might be something uh, you might've noticed. It's certainly something I noticed. Um, right now in the publishing industry, there's this weird disdain for dystopian fiction. The, the reason being, in the wake of the success of the Hunger Games, you know, the, the books and then the movies, like there was this huge influx of um, dystopian fiction. There was a trend, right, of all these uh, all these knockoffs trying to do what the Hunger Games did. Oh, the Hunger Games wasn't very good anyway. I, uh, I, I can give my thoughts on the Hunger Games if you want, but uh, I, I don't like the Hunger Games. Oof. Uh, long story short, uh, <laughs> Uh, Battle Royale was better, and th that one wasn't perfect either, but um, there was this huge influx of dystopian fiction that, like, flooded the industry, and now, like, for a period of time, like, every agent wanted to represent dystopian fiction, and now it's become old hat, and now no one wants that, but the, no one wants to see dystopian fiction. They will outright tell you they do not want to see dystopian fiction. Well, uh, if you're like me, and have a R working on a dystopian novel. It's just, it's just kind of off-putting. Like, um, why are they? It, it feels a lot like a lot of what goes on in this industry is like influenced by trends rather than like trying to make something new, unique, and different, trendy. You, you know what I mean? Like, it, it feels a lot like they're just sort of looking for the next big thing instead of a. Uh, trying to make something interesting, unique, different, be big and uh, be, be create, uh, <laughs> looking for something different that they can m help make successful, you know? And uh, from that perspective, it, it just, it's just kind of baffling looking at these, um, these agents, the ones I've been looking at and seeing them um, always talk about how they want to see like, uh, you know, diversity and um, uh, queer romances and, um, feminism in their books when uh, it really does feel like man um it should be about the story it should be about the books like what kind of books do you like like do you like fantasy do you like them dark do you like them lighthearted? do you like a <laughs> like it doesn't feel like they actively look out stories it, it, it's kind of weird that way it feels almost like they're looking for a political propaganda right it, 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 it sort of feels that way it's just it, it just feels kind of uh, dishonest it feels like uh they're these very they're not actively looking for stuff that they don't know it feels like they don't they're not looking for stuff that they don't know that they might like like uh like they don't know whether they they feel like oof how should i put this uh I, i'm not sure if i'm making any sense here uh that's why i'm stuttering so much uh it feels like they're not actively looking for stuff that's new or different like stuff they don't already know right they they essentially seem to have this fixation on like playing it safe and doing stuff that like that is easier, easily marketable, that won't be controversial, that won't be a little bit different, that just sort of, uh, just more of the same. And uh, that is kind of, uh, for someone like me, who sort of prides themselves on doing stuff kind of out there, it, it's kind of off-putting. It, it kind of feels like they, we need, I, I need to find someone to represent me who sort of, um, who sort of understands the appeal of what I want to make. And it, it always feels like I never quite reach that point. I, I never 
find anyone that I think would uh, would be a suitable match because I, I don't think um, I, it's a challenge is is what I'm getting at. Like I don't think I found someone that um, will is uh, able to represent what I want to make in the full in the fullest possible way in order to like make it really shine and like help me really succeed with this thing and uh, it's very very frustrating and I really have to like really have to stop and wonder like is it really is it really necessary to have an agent to begin with in the modern era and I, I think that's the what main reason I've started talking about this on the channel I think I've mentioned this before but I think self-publication you, you know with marketing with uh, talking about specific uh, talking directly to your audience who would like like to read the stuff you want to make like I think that's the future I think cutting out the middleman you know the publishers the agents like I think that would do a lot for me in which I could like pander specifically to my niche audience without having to like jump through these unnecessary hoops of sort of like a talking to these people who just um who I, I don't know it, it, it's definitely been a bit of a challenge uh, I have spent a little bit of time like messaging agents um, you know I've gotten I got one rejection the past week, and it was a form letter. It was pretty standard. Uh, no big deal. This happens. This isn't about like being rejected. I, um, I, I think I want to make that clear. It, it's more about like um, having trouble finding someone that really understands what I'm trying to do here. All right. Like right now, I'm just like sending out queries because. I need to send out queries, not because I really want to or whether I'm really invested in it. Like I would rather just publish my books now and sort of move on to the next one and like move on to the next thing and get better at what I actually want to do, not like squabble pointlessly, <laughs> uh, trying in vain to get something published or noticed. It just, it feels a, um, oof. It feels like I really want to, um, really want to start building my online presence and really start uh, talking more about what I'm making online. And uh, maybe there are some book, you know, indie book shows I can go to, you know, some channels I can communicate with. I, I, I don't know, but I think um, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But that's exciting. That's interesting. I am really really optimistic about what the future holds for me because at the end of the day i'm still going to be writing books <laughs>